Alright, welcome to yet another exciting psychotic episode, and this one is going to go in the Mintathon folder. We are looking at Linux Mint 12 LXDE right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, this may bring some happy, happy, joy, joy to all of you people out there that really don't care for the Unity interface, um, but want something nice and lightweight. And LXDE is well known for being a nice, lightweight operating system that you can use on older hardware. And uh, Linux Mint, as always, does a magnificent job with every one of their releases. They're well thought out and well put together and that sort of thing. Let's have a quick look at this and you'll see exactly what I mean. First, I'm going to start in the lower right corner of the screen. You get a uh, calendar right here, uh, which is uh, intuitive and easy to use. You get your clock right here. Your network set, your, uh, your volume control is right here. Uh, you also have uh, the option to install additional drivers. Would I install those additional uh, proprietary drivers? Probably not. Okay, and then uh, your network configuration is right here. And then, of course, if you're hooked up to a battery, uh, you have that right here. Let's go ahead and um, dismiss this window here. You can also uh, hide all windows on your desktop. Just show the uh, desktop right here. And then on here, you also have access to your computer, your home folder, and then a quick install button right here. Now, we're looking at this in live CD mode. I didn't install this onto a virtual hard drive simply because you get the same user experience just looking at this as a live CD. We click the little gear icon on the lower left here. You'll see that we have a nice complement of accessories. You get Catfish, which is an excellent uh, file searching utility. Character map, disk utility, which is excellent for managing your your flash drives or any external media that you would plug in. You get file manager, a calculator, image writer, leaf pad for your simple text documents, LX terminal, screenshot. X Archiver and XF Burn. In graphics, you get Events Document Viewer and the GIMP. That's right. Awesome image editor. You also get Simple Scan in Internet. You get Dropbox, Firefox Web Browser, Pigeon Internet Message Messenger, Sun Java 6, Thunderbird Mail. Transmission for all of you SOPA lovers out there who are downloading legal torrents. You are downloading legal torrents, right? I see you. <laughs> all right, and then you get XChat IRC in Office. You get Abby Word and GNU Merrick. In Sound and Video, you get Exhale, GNOME M Player. I use that myself. VLC Media Player, and then XF Burn is included with this. And then, of course, you get all the system tools uh, that are necessary for managing your system. You get a backup tool, a domain blocker, a GUI front end for IP tables, which is your firewall configuration. You get the GDB package installer, probably my favorite package installer, installer for all uh, Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions. You get Gparted for managing your volumes, uh, printing, screen lock, the software manager, the synaptic package manager, system profiler and benchmark, task manager, update manager, upload manager, users and groups, UX term, Windows wireless drivers. For those of you who are having difficulty getting your wireless working, this utility will help you use your Windows drivers to uh, get those applications running well for you. And then you get X turn. And then under preferences, additional drivers. You can customize the look and feel of your system. 
desktop session settings, disk utility, keyboard and mouse, language support, LX key map, monitor settings, network connections, open box configuration manager, passwords and keys, power manager, preferred applications, screen saver, software sources, Sun Java 6, and then of course the welcome screen that gives you all the information on uh, the system. Uh, a lot of times it will include uh, any uh, known issues and that sort of thing, so you'll definitely want to check that out. All in all, this looks really good. All right, another th nice thing that I do like about LXDE is that customization is a breach. It just doesn't get any easier than this. You can for instance, right-click on your panel here and go into the panel settings, and you can easily choose its appearance. You can decide uh, how you want it to appear, whether you could go with the system theme, and that's usually the best choice because you're going to see something I'm going to do here in a moment. You have panel applets that you can choose from to add more functionality, and you can move them up or rearrange them and that sort of thing right here, and then you can also define preferred applications as well with this. And if you right click on your desktop here and select desktop preferences, you can choose different wallpapers. And there are a few of them to choose from here. Most of them are pretty uh, green. <laughs> but you can also define any images uh, that you want. I want to, let's go with the cubes one. This one looks kind of cool, so I'll go ahead and open that here. Okay, and then we'll close that. And then we can even further customize this. You're gonna, I think you're going to love what you see here. When we go into Customize Look and Feel, we can even go a little bit further and uh, select any number, one, number of these uh, customizations. There are tons of presets built into this. And we can just simply scroll through them pick which one we will, we like. I've always been fond of the darker themes, so I'll go with the Aurora Midnight. Maybe we'll have to find a blue wallpaper to go with this, though. And then in colors here, you can check to use uh, customized color schemes, and you can even take it and uh, tweak those colors a little bit more to your liking if you wish. So maybe we could darken this up just a, li just a little bit more and select OK, and then apply it. And it does apply, look at that, it just made it a little bit darker and that sort of thing. And then you can go into icon themes here, and you can, since we're using a dark theme, maybe we might want to go with the uh, mint extra dark, uh, because that will uh, help the appearance of, uh, of this. So we'll select mint extra dark and then apply there. Okay, then you can also choose a mouse cursor. This comes with uh, two. You can have the white cursor or you can go with a black cursor since I like the dark themes. I can, But you can also install one just by pressing the install button here. We'll apply that. There are different window borders that you can choose from as well when we click here. Unfortunately, this didn't give me any previews in the initial test run of this, but the thing is we can just click on something and apply and see if it changes it for us. And yes, it has. So even though it doesn't give us any previews, we can still just select one and apply and uh, see if that will suit our needs. That one looks kind of neat. I think I'll go with that one. You can also adjust your fonts easily and you can also define other options such as uh, your toolbar style. And let's have a look at our toolbars here just for laughs and giggles. We can choose icons only, text only, text below icons or text beside icons, for instance. We can go with that. Uh, show images on buttons, show images in menus. We can even have different sound effects and that sort of thing. Just go ahead and apply that if we want to. So really, this is, this is a really nice operating system that gives you all the basics that you need for customizing this and making it your own. Uh, all in all, a very nice lightweight distribution. Uh, a 700 megahertz computer should be the minimum requirement on this with uh, 128 me megs of RAM 
and you should be pretty good to go. But even then, this will sail nicely on a modern operating system. As always, Linux Mint does a magnificent job with every release that they put out. If you thought this was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Also, I'd like to take this time to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions, and if I don't know the answer, and in all likelihood that may be the case, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time! Mm -hmm.